Welcome to today's video where we will be turning turkeys into delicious mushroom and Swiss bratwurst and apple cinnamon breakfast sausage. So why turkeys? We take our DIY kits that are made for home use and we champion them that you can get 25 pounds of basically any protein turn into a delicious product that you're gonna enjoy at home. Turkeys happen to be one item that is eaten Christmas and of course Thanksgiving. And after that, these things wind up in your grocer frozen and at typically great discounts. Now I check locally and you can get a frozen whole turkey for 98 cents a pound. So the concept of the video is you find your way into some frozen turkeys using some of the meat grinders, um, stuffer, and our DIY kit. We're gonna have some amazing turkey brats, turkey breakfast sausage, but it begins with deboning our previously frozen, now thawed turkeys. So let's just get started. First turkey weighed 19.15, that was the weight of the carcass. So we have 12.10 of deboned mixture of white and dark meat, and then 7.05 on the remainder of our carcass, which of course we save, we're gonna use it for broth and all that. So one turkey down, let's keep going. Scott's hot tip, I'm gonna be using mineral oil. You can use a cooking spray. Give the interior of your meat tub a coating, and then when you put your liner in, it's gonna to stick to that, and when we mix in here, it won't be as apt to do the washing machine. What's the washing machine? When things go like this. Gotcha. You've heard of the lawnmower? This is the washing machine. Okay, the hard part's over. We're gonna start mixing in our spices and going through a grinding process. Now we add 22.5 pounds of the turkey and we're gonna add 2.5 pounds of our pork fat. Um, that's why we sell it like this on our website. This is a non-GMO pork product that we produce here at White Feather Meats. So we want to add some fat content to this just because turkey is so lean. So we're going to break that up, mix it in. You want to open up that spice packet? Sure will. So this is the bratwurst seasoning. This is just our base flavor bratwurst. And as Scott's mixing the fat, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the seasoning and he can continue to mix. We like to add our spices into the meat blend because we feel like then when we grind it, it's gonna further incorporate or otherwise bind those flavors into that protein. So keep in mind also that the uh, turkey is still partially frozen in spots. So this is extremely cold product as well. All right, now that's blended, we can start our grinding step. So we're gonna be using the Made With Meat number eight half horse dual grind grinder to process our bratwurst. Just over five minutes to grind out our 25 pounds. That's what makes the dual grind so nice is that when we uh, grind that out, we don't have to grind first course and then go back. Just a beautiful mixture. Now it's time for the magic, which is our 
dried mushrooms. Let me get that out of there, Seth. It's time for the goods. So these are dehydrated mushroom. There's no reason to rehydrate them or anything like that before you add them into the mix. The sausage itself will rehydrate them uh, as it sits here. This is where I talked about that washing machine action, Spencer. Oh, your there, hands are the washing machine. Yes, I am the machine. And since we spray that line, that lug with a little bit of mineral oil, that liner staying put much better. So this is a high temp Swiss, two and a half pounds. Just gonna go ahead and start adding that in and Scott will keep mixing. Of all the brats that we make, mushroom and Swiss are definitely in my top two, maybe even top one. They're 10-10 all day long. Those dried ingredients have dried out our mixture a little bit, so Seth's gonna add some water. This is kind of a... Tell me when. Let me feel it. This is kind of a thing that you learn over time, just how much to add. You don't wanna to add too much, but you do want it to be lubricated well enough that when we go to put this through our stuffer, it's not gonna fight us the whole time. The first step to the apple cinnamon is our signature maple seasoning. You've probably heard us talk about it. It's all natural. We use a real reduced maple syrup into a sugar. It's our very own proprietary recipe. Came up with ourselves. So this one is incredible in an apple cinnamon. I'm gonna go about halfway with this bag. Scott's gonna start mixing. And again, we've added we'll the, the two and a half pounds of pork fat trimmings. Oh, mouth waters almost immediately. If you wanna just step into the woods on a fall October day, <sighs> maple seasoning. Imagine that cooking in the skillet at mama's house on a Sunday morning. Another tier of DIY products is now open on our website. Our previous products were doing so well, we've added some of our next popular flavors. We've got pizza, Hawaiian pizza, macho nacho, hickory barbecue, mild Italian, mushroom Swiss, apple cinnamon. Great flavors. Surely they will bring great value to you. New on our website, check them out. Pedal to the metal. Go ahead and get a little Pedal in there. to the floor. Now that we're ground out, which the maple seasoning is, um, it has sugar, quite a bit of sugar in it, so it, it's pretty moist already, but we'll see what happens when we drop these diced dried apples in. Cinnamon, cinnamon and apple definitely goes with turkey. That's for sure. Correct. And that's one thing. And you can add cheese to this too. You could do cheddar cheese in here if you really wanted to give it some, uh, some extra flavor and texture. But that's one thing that we found with all of our bratwurst and our kits and everything like that is those little extra things that we figured out, like adding the, the dried fruits or the vegetables to it, just puts it over the top. It'll be unlike anything else that, you know, you've made or somebody's handed you to try. Yours will be that much spe more special. So we're gonna start out with our breakfast links. 21 millimeter fresh collagen casing comes with your kit. We're just gonna go ahead and get these opened up. There's three strands in here. Three strands will do your full batch, 25 pounds. So let's get the plunger started. We're gonna push this little nut on the top to release any air that might be in there. Once we start hitting the product, we can feel a little bit of resistance. We're gonna go ahead and get the casing on the horn. Keeping in mind, this stainless steel portion does not come with the meat stuffer. This is available on Amazon. We'll put a link in. You got to go buy it there. So I'm going to do the casing. Scott's going to do the cranking. And this is a perfect size breakfast sausage. You can see those apples coming through. If you didn't know, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't even know that that was turkey. Looks like pork sausage. 
key with this is you want a nice consistent fill so you don't get a lot of air pockets in your sausages. So we have Scott's hot, hot tip, now it's time for Seth's hot tip. I dumped a little bit of water on the table and if you do that as you're stuffing, you can coil these casings and it slides on the table. So Seth's hot tip. The Gatling gun of sausages returns. As fast as I can feed them, they're cranking out. Look at all those turkey sausages. We're just going to get these links all lined up in our lug and then we'll go back through and get them all packed. But you don't want to just dump them in there because they'll smush and distort your, your link. So lay them in gently. Faster, Johnny, faster. Too fast, Johnny, too fast. Destroy that bunker. 25 pounds turkey. Apple cinnamon, they're in the lug. Next, mushroom and Swiss. Next will be brats. Let's get to cranking. Missed the uh... This clear horn comes with the meat stuffer. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that one on. We have a 32 millimeter collagen. This comes with the kit. Two strands. This will do the 25 pounds. Get them opened up. Look at that. Swiss cheese. Mushrooms, mm, mm, mm. those are going to be amazing. Which uh, one are you more excited to eat? Mushroom and Swiss or the apple cinnamon? Probably the mushroom and Swiss but it's just because it's lunchtime and I'm starved. I am too. Apple cinnamon definitely, I'm thinking, you know, breakfast. Take, take some home morning. and cook them up for breakfast. So four frozen turkeys, which bear in mind, you could raise a turkey, you could do chicken, really, frankly, any protein that you can get your hands on you can do the same thing and you're gonna have a delicious product. And speaking of a delicious product, I think my belly button is touching my backbone. You see the clock same. behind us. It's five till noon it's on a Friday. Lunchtime, so we're gonna skip the grill because we're super hungry. We're gonna go straight into the break room and throw these into our air fryer. You might be surprised that we're gonna air fry these, but we do it around here all the time. The counter girls, they eat lunch this way all the time. Uh, pretty simple, a lot of people own an air fryer, so today, that's how we're cooking them. I got mine, let's go. Let's go make some lunch. He must be hungrier than me because he has two handfuls and I only have one. I gotcha. This is my tray? Sure. We might what have to I? rotate him part way through, but air fryer, it, it does the trick. It, it does a really good job on brats. <laughs> Time out. What? It's an air fryer. You're not supposed to have foil in the bottom of it. <laughs> it's air mean? fryer, so the air's got to circulate over everything. Our assistant is not so happy because I'm like, we can't have that's the foil. Bottom. Oh. <laughs> that's the bottom, hon. <laughs> can't have God, the foil right? in there. Wait, We're not going to be able to air fryer. Wait. You can wrap the bottom one with foil to catch the drippings. There we go. We're in the weeds. I'm just trying we not better to just... clean the... There. Oh my god. Now Lord. we get the okay, airflow. Okay, but hang on. Where's our grill? <laughs> Where's our grill? Any drippings? You're cleaning it. I'm hungry. I'm gonna need some of your other tray, bro. I'm hungry. Close, <laughs> <laughs> closer. <laughs> closer up, let's go. 
Let's try 400 and let's go for, uh, I think 14 is a little heavy. Let's try 10 minutes. Let's try eight and we'll check it then. And then we may have to rotate them. Start. Roll them. Start. Start. And let's not forget that the breakfast links. Living in a digital age that I don't understand. Breakfast links are going to cook faster than the frost. Eight minutes. Ooh. So you rotated once. Yeah, I rotated halfway through. Those aren't quite done, are they? It says 171, oh. but I'd like to get it a little bit browner. What about Let's that? try a breakfast link. If those are done, we can start with those. 197. I'm not, oh, those are. Weird. You happy with the browning? Yep. I'm just hungry. I'm hungry too. They're bursting with apples. That's an air fried turkey breakfast, maple cinnamon sausage. And you can't tell me that that doesn't look amazing. It was fast too. Gotta spread these out a little bit, crisp them. Things have changed a little bit. That's I was literally sad. sitting right here on a bucket. I was probably no, you're in a chair. Or in a you chair. Have a bucket near you. Okay. I was probably 14. White coat, cutting beef. And since we're looking for old you photos, you don't have to show them all the pictures. I thought I was Garth Brooks or something. If the cutting career doesn't work out, you could always get the uh, country country so, music career going. That was just so I could get my picture up at the uh, Wayne County Fair. There you go. It worked. I'm hungry. Thanks. While those are finishing up, let's try. Just bring the whole plate over here. Oh. I like the way that you think. I'll let you get your choice. It's a turkey cheers. Mmm. Tastes like turkey. I'm joking. It doesn't taste like turkey. Not one bit. Look at the apples. If you, um, focus. if you didn't know any better, you'd just think it was pork. Mmm. Mm. That is delicious. Cinnamon, ginger, maple sugar, apples. A crisp fall morning is all I taste. That with some pancakes. So, think about the we had four turkeys in the freezer. Thanksgiving and Christmas are over. We weren't sure what we were going to do with them. Now we know. We're going to eat these all winter long. Get in there, Spencer. They're not too hot. Get over here, Alyssa. Look how those ends sealed up, nice and brown. I don't care who you are, air fry some brats. They're amazing. Are you gonna do a trick on me and give me one with lava hot cheese? <laughs> it squirts out and burns my lip. Get your bun ready. Those look really good. Bussin'. Is this gonna slap? As my kids say. I'm going with no toppings first. No mustard or no barbecue sauce or anything first. Mm. Oh my. That's that was so great. Great. These are my favorite. The mushroom flavor. Now it doesn't have a smoke flavor like you would, you know, you'd be cooking it on a charcoal grill or something like that. But, but to that end, you could add our hickory smoke powder to this recipe. You could. It has a crispiness, the air fryer, great, great job, mushroom flavor, mm. and juicy. So that smooth creamy creaminess of that Swiss, man, that is delicious. I, gotta I try still some don't with think some mustard and some with some barbecue. If nobody told you that this was turkey, you wouldn't even know. You would just think it was a pork brat. Yep. Why don't you take the first squirt of that mustard, because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be water. Let's wrap up the video. You want some mustard? In a minute. Yeah, you're going to put the juicy mustard on. I don't Keep your juicy of, mustard off my mustard. brat. Turkey, mushroom and Swiss bratwurst, turkey, apple cinnamon breakfast sausage. Turned out amazing. You saw everything start to finish. Frozen turkeys economical from that point you get the equipment you get the diy kits follow this and you're going to have a wonderful product now we have a product in our freezer that we're going to want to eat all winter 
and summer long. I went over all that. Don't take a bite. You do the outro because I have my mouth full. Please. You saw us bone out the turkeys. You saw us make the brats, the breakfast links. Now you get to see us eat them. And until next time, see ya. Hey, wait, don't cut. I want to show you. Did you know that you can clip back the top of the... No, you can't. It's supposed to snap in place. Scott's hot tip did not work for one, Something the first time. All right. Well, anyway, I shook up the mustard bottle, so I shouldn't get it. Scott's mild tip. <laughs> Throw the whole bottle in the river. Get me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like mustard, but that's a lot of mustard. Until next time. Mm.